the song into uh, um, hit the next slide. The song into uh, the unknown was chosen because of the title, but also the message that it had. And I thought about that as going into the unknown. You know, we all go into the unknown at some time or another. It's like uh, people just graduating from uh, uh, from high school. They're either going to go into the military. They're going to go to college. They're going to get a job. They're going to get married. Whatever they choice they make, it's into the unknown because they've been in the school situation for so long. To suddenly go out as an adult is scary. I don't know about you, but you know I, I can remember, of course, when I graduated from high school. I didn't care. I knew where I was going. Uh, everybody else seemed to be, oh, we, I don't want to leave. But uh, uh, I. I knew I was going to college, and so I, I kind of looking forward to that. But it's, uh, it's like uh, uh, coming up here, my wife and I lived in Kentucky all our lives, you know, all 60 some odd years in Kentucky. And uh, if, if you've ever known anyone from Kentucky, they kind of grow roots there. It, they, they really uh, feel attached to the land. And we just got rid of everything and came up here. And that was kind of scary in a way, but it's into the unknown. And uh, it takes faith. That's what the, uh, you know, the, all, it all was about today. It takes faith to trust, to trust that, um, well, that everything's going to be okay in the end. And, you know, <laughs> And it's not the end, but everything's going to be okay along the way, not just in the end. And each one of us, I, you all have done that, haven't you? you? Haven't you done something that, you know, kind of scary, but you want to go ahead? And it's like the song um, Into the Unknown said that the uh, uh, person singing that was uh, scared about the unknown. She didn't, you know, she... Everybody she loves right here in these walls, and she doesn't want to, to break out of those walls. And yet she hears this voice that is urging her on, urging her to come on to something greater. And that's what the, uh, uh, the movie Frozen 2 is all about. How to get through those fears and then to become uh, what you are to become. And while, you know, we're trying to, uh, uh, I guess, how do, how do you go about having the faith to step out into the unknown? Got to watch what I'm stepping here. <laughs> step out into the unknown and uh, uh, to, to go there and to know that, gosh, you know, I don't, I don't know. You know if you, you've all moved one time or another, you go to a place and you don't know anybody, uh, that's kind of scary. How do you get to know people? Well, you come to church, you, you know, or whatever. You get to meet people little by little until you get your, your tribe, your family uh, with you. But how do you go about having the faith to step out into the unknown? You know, we talk, talked about it in the prayer. We talked about it uh, in, in all the things that we've done so far this morning. That yeah, that's how you do it. You do, you step out into the unknown. And the the the. Uh, but how do you get that kind of faith? Where do where do you where does it come from? What does it do? You know, I don't know. <laughs> desire. desire. Yeah, desire. That's a, that's a big part of it. It is. It really is because you've got to have a desire to step out. And when my wife and I came up here. Uh, we had a great desire to be up here. Yeah, a burning desire. Uh, can't not. Yeah, you can't not do it. Right. And you don't know how you're going to do it or what you're going to do, but you no. just know you can't not yeah, do it. And it won't go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 a kind of stepping out into the unknown and and having the trust and the faith. Yeah. So uh, this is what we kind of learn to do. No, we don't learn to do. We just do it, don't we? we you just you just have to do whatever you're going to come come across. And 
meet whatever comes your way with the faith that you can do it. Yeah, that's, that's what it takes. And you don't know that faith until you do it. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, it, I, picked a, I picked a real good topic today, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> into the unknown. You know, I'm, I'm into the unknown right now. <laughs> <It's> super good. <laughs> but uh, uh, essentially, this is what uh, uh, we do. And I'm... Uh, What, what would you do? You know, if you're going to do something and it's kind of new to you, wouldn't you like to ask somebody who really has done it before and knows what, you know, what to expect? Well, who has that faith, you want to, you know, maybe get some advice from somebody. So uh, if uh, uh, Merlin will turn on the microphone, I'm going to ask somebody who has done it before. And that somebody who stepped out in faith is Jeshua, Jesus. So we're going to ask Jesus right now. Okay, good. Now, Jeshua, you call. I did. I know that, that you had to step out into the unknown, uh, especially, you know, with, with all that you went through in order to demonstrate that life doesn't end at the, when the body ends. But how did you do it? You know, what, what kind of hints can you give us that help us in our journey to go into the unknown? What can you tell us, Jeshua? Beloved ones, you have within you all knowing. You have what has been termed the expansive love. When you are facing a decision, a question, whatever, allow that deep breath, which takes you within to the quiet space. As you are in the world, there is much of activity going on much of shall i go here shall i go there shall i smile shall i be sad etc when you stop and you breathe allowing everything to come to the quiet space there is an answer that says to you i am full stop period i am and in that expansive place, you connect one more time with love. Full stop, period. Okay, now we are done. <laughs> very simple, very simple, right. Uh, right. Except that sometimes it's, it still seems scary at times, but uh, uh, like we were saying earlier, you know, you just have to do it. Yes, try it. And I know that all of you have, because you have gone through the period of what shall I do? Shall I go here? Shall I decide whatever? Oh, oh, how I suffer. Until finally you run out of the energy and you come to a quiet space that says, breathe. Yes, take that deep breath and go within. That is where you truly find your holy self, W-H-O-L-L-Y, however you spell it, the whole self. And you find the, as you have termed it down through the ages, the holy, H-O-L-Y, sacred self, the one self that you are, that gives to you a moment or longer of peace. I recommend it. I see you, beloved ones, running here, there, everywhere, asking for, what is the answer? What will cure me? I have this ache. I have this, this problem. I can't remember. I have a memory loss, whatever, whatever the terminology may be for it. And you want an answer. And the answer is within. 
always from before time began. Think upon that sometime. Think upon from before time began. Who was I? Where was I? What am I? Take that deeply within yourself and know that always that is your power, your strength, your holiness, your isness. Again, as I have said before, time began. And when the purpose of time has been fulfilled, oh my God, Joshua, you mean time is going to be fulfilled? Yes, pray be unto the one that we are. It will be fulfilled, finished, completed to where you will know you are what you have always been, one. No division, no separation, one in what you term and understand in this day and time as love. Know you that feeling where you look upon a beloved pet or a beloved one that you share life with and you feel an expansiveness that is not definable. You want to, you say, oh, you know, I, I love you so much. You are everything to me. You are the light. You are the love of my life and more. <laughs> very good. Yes, yeah, very good. The actor. And then you have realized that there is something more. There's something more that I can't put into words but I know it, I feel it. And it allows me to expand into that holy, H-O-L-Y, W-H-O-L-L-Y, place of knowing everything, all oneness. You come again to that place of great peace. That is why your religious organizations suggest that you have a prayer in every day, even if it is just one sentence, even if it is just one breath. Now, I know that doesn't usually happen. Usually the prayers they give you are, <laughs> and turn the page, there's more. But you are the breath of the Holy One. You are the existence of the Holy One. You don't have to worry about what am I going to serve for dinner? What am I going to say when they ask me certain questions? What am I going to say when I want to help one feel holier, better, happier? What am I going to say to my beloved pet? You don't have to rehearse. You take the deep breath and you are sufficient in that space of love oneness of love any Thanks. more questions <laughs> do you all have any questions you'd like to ask jesus anybody have a question well, i have a story same thing with me very my good left me when i was uh my youngest daughter was about four years old he left me in mm -hmm. court and so anyway i had to get on welfare because there was no job and I, um, so I lived in Forks until, and I want, I was taking care of my mom and dad and they were elderly and I didn't want to leave them, but I had to think of my youngest daughter too, because my youngest son just graduated out of high school and they told me welfare, I was on welfare because there was no job. So welfare told me I had to move to Port Anderson to go to college. And I thought, what? I've got to go to college? So... I talked to my mom and dad and I said, I don't want to leave you. I want to take care of you. No, you go do your life where you want to. So I moved to Port Angeles, went to college. And I tell you, that was the greatest time in my life. I found unity in 1972. And it was just my life. I, I, was, I was so happy moving here. And I've had such a wonderful life, poor life sometimes, but mm -hmm. wonderful life living here in Port Angeles. So I know God and Jesus yes. has been with me all this time. Perfect. Yeah. And like I said, I've had four times in my life to live, and I knew God knew I was here for a reason. 
and you still are, yes. which is wonderful. All of you and have I'm good today. the <laughs> gift. You all of you have the gift of reaching out to other ones through the hugs, yes, but more than that, through your visage, yes, the smile on the face, the words that you will say to one, and it may be without words. Oftentimes, times the powerful expression that you give to other ones is the smile, yes, without words, and the open arms that say, I will receive you and love you. And you come to that place of oneness. Yes. I also got experience with, before moving over here, I was uh, meditating, you know, asking the okay. Divine Lord, okay, I want, I want to have a clarity. Like I was not too sure, should I go to, you know, to some, over here to Port Angeles, or I should go to uh, some other place. And I was praying, you know, almost for a month before that, every day. And then that one day I just sit down and, and I go, okay, this time and I need to have clarity. So show me the way. So I meditate and that's very short, not too long. And then I get up, I try to get up and I see something between my legs. There was a piece of bark. And in that moment, I knew it's supposed to be Port Angeles. Yes. And I was guided here and the people being very friendly. I it's sort of like they welcome me and I feel in divinity also this place they, they talk to me they are not from heaven and they say this place uh, they will be supportive for me very good mm -hmm. and all of you have felt that even the one who walked in this morning and was not quite sure why am I here some of you who have been here other times you have walked in and you have also said why am I here what is it that draws me here? What opens my heart? Because that is what you feel with the friends, as they are called, the ones who are of like mind and searching, still searching. I say to you that you will keep searching all of this life until the moment you take the deep breath and you know, I am one then you have choice. Do I stay and dance and say to everyone, life with all of you is the most wondrous thing. I am so happy that you are in my life. Or do you exit and think that you're leaving it all behind and find as you have found many times that you cannot, because even if you do not have the body, you are still heart to heart with ones and more. Some of what you go through in the, you will call it adjustment to a human life, is the feeling of separation. And yet, beloved ones, when you stop and you think of a loved one, whether in body or moved on, perhaps, you are one with them in that space. I have seen you as you will pray to ones who have left the body and then you have felt but i feel you i feel you here sometimes i hear you talking to me sometimes you will actually say some decision direction to me i can feel you in my heart there is no separation take that deeply within and know that you are one one with everyone you think of, everyone you desire to be in communication. Bodies speak of separation. Love, knowing oneness, speaks of your allness, your divinity that is beyond all seeming problems. Come once again to that place of the heart. Take the deep breath. Smile. A smile does wonders, not only for others who see it, but for you. Your science people have told you that there are uh, vibrations released with a smile. 
do it often. There is one who is very good. Look at that face. Just look and, and try not to smile. Ha! Huh. Very good. All of you are living, walking love. That is your mission. That is what you have accepted in the beginning. And that is why you search for it. You think, I have to find the perfect one, whether it be on two feet, four feet, winged, or through the water. And it is because you want to come back home again to the love that you are. And that oneness is you. So be it. Thank you, Joshua. Your shoes are back there <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> no, I'm not you sure. want to hit the switch on the <laughs> microphone? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. She, uh, not, he got it. Into the unknown. This whole thing today was unknown for me. I didn't prepare for anything. <laughs> you go on and you, you see what happens. So all of us, all of us go into the unknown in our decisions every day. But the thing is to take that deep breath as Jeshua told us, and to know that you are one. You are one with all that is. You're not separate. Even though we can look and see separate bodies. It seems that we're separate. But we're not. We're all one. All of us looking for love. Because we are love. And love wants to share itself that's what it's all about the journey into the unknown is love let's take a moment for meditation just close your eyes take that deep breath And feel in your heart the true gratitude, thankfulness for all the times that you have stepped out into the unknown and all the times that you have experienced through faith the guidance that is within, that comes from within. Just take that breath and be thankful. Thankful for who you are. Thankful for everything that you have done. Maybe we haven't done everything that we think is right or the best, but it led us to where we are right now. Therefore, it has been the best. And be thankful that we can take a breath, a deep breath, and know that we are not alone, that we are one with each other, and that as we share our love with one another, that we realize our oneness. Smile, laugh, love one another. As we learn more and more about who we are, what we are. For this is life, and we are one in life. So be it. Amen.